specifically in Maryland, if you look on the eastern shore of Maryland, we have a great amount of poultry production. Purdue, Mountain View, and other poultry companies are very prevalent on the eastern shore of Maryland, eastern shore of Virginia. And if you look at the top picture, I have a picture of kind of a standard poultry house in the eastern shore. Each house holds upwards of 10,000 chickens. So you can imagine that in each house, the farm may have two, three, four poultry houses. That produces a lot of poultry manure. It's pretty commonplace on the eastern shore to have these growers use this poultry litter. It's high in nitrogen, it's high in other nutrients. It's pretty commonplace to have this poultry litter applied out onto the field. And again, it's a great source of nutrients. It's a lot cheaper than buying synthetic manures, which are pretty costly. They take a lot of energy to make. They're really good at incorporating organic matter into the soil. And therefore, it's really good for soil health, for soil drainage, and helping with the structure of soils. And it's also, most importantly, a great way to recycle the waste so that we don't get a buildup of poultry litter. And then you can see in this lower picture, it's the same, same example with cattle and horse manure. They're also great ways to introduce nutrients into the soil using fertilizer. However, Animal manure is a great place to harbor human pathogens. If you think about it, animal manure is just animal waste. So along it, we can often find listeria, E. coli, salmonella, and some other pathogens. 